Welcome into this week's Terry Tells You, and I'm so excited today to have, okay, Tiffany, I'm going to try to say this, and I already can't. So, Tiffany with the ramen, yes. ramen food truck here, Ramen Shack, tell me a little bit about how you guys got started. You're an owner, so yes. explain to me how this all happened. Uh, me and my husband would travel to Austin or Dallas to get ramen, and we would come back to Lubbock and crave it, and there would be no ramen. And so, we um, have a recipe perfected it for about five or six years wow. and decided we invited our friends and family over and they you know this is really good y'all should open up a restaurant so we decided to do a food truck um and it's been going really well it really has yes. i drove by on uh saturday on 50th street and the line was just crazy i was like what is that i need to know more about it yes. now how long did it take you guys to you know put the food truck up and get out there and selling everything um from start to finish it took us around three months to get it done and then we started selling uh, a couple of months ago and it's taken off really well so we've really seen a need in, for ramen in lubbock and which is a good thing so we're happy to bring it here for sure. Yeah. Tell me about the different flavors and the types that you guys sell. So we have three different flavors. Uh, we have the Shio, uh, the Shoyu, Miso, and then Miso Hot. Um, the Shio is a salt taro base. Uh, the Shoyu is soy sauce base. And then the Miso is uh, fermented soybean. Oh, wow. That sounds great. Yeah. So many different things. Okay. So when people come up, what's the most popular, do you think? The most popular is the Shio. Um, it does offer, it has a lot of flavor in it, um, a lot of the toppings in it. Um, it does have the shashi pork in it, um, the seven marinated egg, mushrooms, marinated bamboo, and green onions. That sounds really good. All right, now, what makes this different for people out there who have never had real ramen? Explain the difference. Everything is uh, handmade every week. It takes us three days to make it. Um, the noodles are handmade. Um, so I think that's just what makes, and it's new to Lubbock. It's not ever been here. So I think that's what makes it new, exciting. Right. Um, so, yeah. All right, very good. Now, where are you guys going to be next? Friday, we're gonna be at the first Friday Art Trail from five to nine, we'll sell there. We usually sell out there, and so we're not usually open for the rest of the weekend. Okay. Um, just because, like I said, it takes three days to prep. So, um, and then we will be closed next weekend, but if you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, we will post where we'll be at. Sounds great. All right, Tiffany Lumbreras, owner of the Ramen Shack. We're so excited that you guys are in town. Again, they will be open tomorrow night from five to nine at the First Friday Art Trail. And because they sell out so quick, they'll be closed for the rest of the weekend. So if you want some of this, it's so good. I've seen the lines. You better get out there and get some. Tiffany, thank you so much for being thank with you. us today. We certainly appreciate it. Stay warm. Yes, thank you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.